So I've been watching a lot of makeup how-to videos on YouTube, and they're all pretty great. It inspired me to make my own makeup tutorial, and I created my own look for the holidays since it's December and holidays are coming up. Christmas! Yay! Um, yeah, I made a look just for the holidays. Well, you can wear it any time, basically, but right around now would be the best. So I'm going to show you how to get a winter green look with bright red lips. I don't really have a name for it because I'm not that creative with names. So this is what it looks like. It's green on the outside, white on the inside, and then obviously red lips. They come up more orange here. And I know the lighting is really dark, but believe it or not it actually looks better this way because the lighting in my room is terrible. So in order for you guys to see what I'm doing, it's better for me to have a lamp on right here than to have the big light on, then you can't really see what I'm doing and you won't really be able to see what it looks like. So let's get started. So obviously you're going to start out with a fresh palette on your face, like, you know, no makeup on it really. Not on your eyes anyway. Duh. But what you're going to want to do first is always prime your eyes. Now, I'm not going to do that because you all probably know how to do that, and second of all, I'm just a poor person. I don't have any primer, so I just use foundation. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I just put foundation on my eyelids and it works perfectly fine for me. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but you are going to want to take kind of like a forest green color. I have a little palette right here. If I knew how to use this camera, that would be awesome. Uh, it doesn't really look green from that angle, but it's green uh, right there. It's like a spearmint kind of green, I guess, if you want to say spearmint, forest, whatever. And this is not, you know, this isn't going to be your professional, oh, you're going to take this specific brush, blah, blah, blah. That would be awesome, but once again, I'm poor. You know, don't really have a lot to work with. So I'm just going to use one of these. We all probably have one of these. And it's actually cleaned off. It's just the darker colors kind of ruined the whiteness. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a little bit of that green and you're going to apply it on your eyelid about three-fourths of the way in up to the crease. I need more. I have a mirror over here, that's why I'm not looking at the camera. I'm not very good at using the camera as a mirror because it's all backwards and stuff. So this is what you want it to look like on the first eye. Not so much going to do it on the second eye because it's just reversed and I don't want to take up too much of your time, which I probably already am doing by blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. So next I have Maybelline eyeshadow palette. It is in Hushed Tints, and there's a matte white color right here, and that's what we're going to use for our inner, yeah, inner parts of the eye, like from where the green ends to the tear duct. That's what it's called. <laughs> I've never made one of these videos before, so forgive me for blabbing, I guess. So you're going to just... Take some of that matte white and apply it all the way over here, just like this. And you don't really want to, you know, smoosh your eye, just like kind of pat it on a little bit. And you see that line right where the green and the white meet? What you're going to do is you're just going to take your finger and lightly smudge it. Don't smudge too much or else it'll look really messy and dirty and all that kind of stuff. So just lightly smudge it so it looks like blended. Now for the easy part, it's like easy to me at least because it's the least amount of work. On this palette that I got the green from, um, there's also a very glittery gold so take a glittery gold eye highlight 
And what you're going to do is you're going to apply that just in the corner of your eyes. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, so I'm going to apply a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, you really can't see that that well. It should look like just gold glitter in the corner of your eye. It actually looks pretty cool. If you can actually see it. Um, and don't think that it's not important. I mean, it's not an important step. None of these are important because you don't have to wear makeup. But, uh... The gold really isn't an important step, kind of, I guess, because you don't think it's not an important step because it's there. You can't see it in the video, but you can definitely see it in real life. Okay, so what you want to do after that is take some black eyeliner. You can also use gold or bronze or something, because I experimented with both, and they both look good to me. And you're just going to line your waterline. Okay, now, after that's all said and done, you're going to take that matte white again. If you don't have a white, yeah, you're going to take the white eyeshadow, matte white, and you're just going to kind of bring it over here a little bit too. That way, all aspects of your eye are highlighted, kind of, not just this part or not just this part, but like both. And you're going to bring it under a little bit. Just by a little bit. And that's gonna actually make your eyes pop. So now you're done with the eyeshadow part, all you gotta do is just add some mascara. I have some Glam Eyes Day to Night by Rimmel. And this is really cool. It's a two in one because you got the length brush here, or if you want volume, all you gotta do is just do that. Oh, magic. Um, so you're gonna go with length because that's always cool, I guess. And just gonna apply it. <laughs> I got some on my nose. If you mess up, you're supposed to use a Q-tip, but I don't really have any on me right now, so. I'm not a professional. I'm not even claiming to be a professional. I'm just blabbing. First makeup tutorials are probably the hardest because, I don't know, they're your first. You're gonna apply the uh, mascara to the lower lashes too, as well as the upper lashes. Then you're done with that. You can apply false lashes if you want. I don't generally wear false lashes, but to each his or her own. Yes, because guys wear makeup too. Next we're going to take lipstick called Very Cherry. It's by Maybelline. It's really pretty. I love it. And just, you guys know how to put on lipstick, right? You just... <laughs> yeah. You're probably all yelling at me like, oh, that's not the right technique, or you did this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, ah. Like I said, not a professional. I just know how to make it look good without using professional techniques or tools. Hopefully I know how to make it look good. In my eyes it looks good. So when you're done with that, and you're done blotting and stuff, which is where you just, you know, take a napkin and you just kiss it to make sure you get all the excess off. You're going to take some Christmas earrings, or Hanukkah earrings, whatever you're celebrating. And I chose these really cute little Christmas trees. I love them. And this just adds an extra touch, like to the whole Christmassy effect. And I'm sorry for blabbing a lot. I'm going to try to make more makeup tutorials. If I get some suggestions, then that would be great. Otherwise, I'll just go by inspiration. And... 
Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely not blab so much, but this is my first video. Can you really blame me? Yeah, that's how you get the wintergreen cherry look. Toodles!